Hello, this is Nick from Atlas Collectibles. I'm queuing in for another hour of decision and one cat intermediate Swiss draft league. Um, I'm playing a bunch of these and it will be for the next two weeks uh, in preparation for GP Toronto. Um, the first day of the event is obviously sealed. The second day of the event is going to be draft. Uh, I am confident, so uh, we're hoping that I can just pull off the day two. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Atlas Collectibles Draft, the Atlas Collectibles 2 on Atlas Collectibles Draft by Nick. We're going to Hours of Devastation and Emonquet Intermediate Swiss Draft League, the super exciting format that it is. Um, just practicing for the upcoming GP, GP Toronto's in two weeks, um, and uh, the team was out grinding pre-releases all weekend, um, just for practice and... Uh, Trying to get some more practice at the draft here. Um, opening my first pack, we got this piece of junk excuse for a rare. Um, it's terrible. Let's not talk about it. Uh, imaginary threats is like a really cool combat trick if you get stuck. Um, and you need to do it. Um, Manticore Eternal is pretty strong. Um, if you need a 5 drop, it's like pretty nuts. Uh... Ambuscade is probably the best card in the pack. City with Striker is pretty good too. There's, there's, there's a good red-blue deck here. Um, I'm tempted to, to go with that actually. Pick one of the uncommons rather than go for the common. Uh, I could push someone into it. Um, I might grab the uh, Manticore Eternals. Pack one, pick one. It is weird not to grab MSK here, though. Let's try it. That's probably the right pick. Alright, uh, into pick two. Um, the best card in this pack is probably Farm. Open Fire is very strong as well. This is the worst uncommon in the set. Never take this card. Um, we could not change colors and grab this green card, though. It's pretty decent. I'm inclined to just take Farm, though. Farm is very good. But this is in green-white. We can also take the Hippo and not change colors and pass on the removal spell. And see where we end up later. Maybe that's the better play. I'm not quite sure. These two cards are very good. Uh, let's go. I think farm is the right pick. Go hippo. Yeah, it's hippo. Alright. I'm going to regret that deeply later, I think. Uh, anyways, pick three. Looking like red is being just given to us. This card is super early pickable. Might pick this up and go Reggie Beats. Um, I like it ahead of most things in that pack. Um, grab a hippo here. Uh, that's all of our six drops we'll need. They're great, they cycle, they do cool stuff. Uh, Herb and Paincaster is just very strong. Um, we have a real spell. If we can fill out a curve of green beats, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I haven't got a chance to try the RG aggro deck yet. Uh, I've been heavily into green black and white green and boros. Uh, I have not been that lucky with opening gods. Uh, my first MTGO draft online, I did get a Scorpion God in pack two. Um, and I just forced it, and I will force it if I get another one in this draft. But um, 
yeah, I've I've I haven't been lucky with my uh, pack one rares very much. But I wouldn't mind trying the RG archetype, so we'll try that here. Yeah, man, um, that's that's assuming a lot on pick four. <laughs> we I could change entire colors before the end of this draft still. guy before us is incredibly slow. Alright, um, another ambuscade is hard to turn down. Um, the creatures in here are okay for what we're trying to do, but I mean this is like the best card in our color pair, so. I'm going to try to stick to green as much as I possibly can. I'll pick up red if I have to. There's not a good green card in the pack. Like here, there's not really a good card, so I'll grab the Harrier Naga. It's a 3 3 for 3. Whoops. Sorry about that. This is the slowest drafter. Yeah, I I found this set's actually pretty fun. I'm, I've been having a good time with it. Uh, Ronus Stalwart is the best card in this pack. Foil Mountain is actually the best card in this pack, but that's fine. I want the two drop. The pyramid's tempting. You can draw some cards with it, which is interesting. I think if I'm going like RG kind of uh, curve tempo, I don't really need it though. My table's not dumb and isn't taking this horrible excuse for a magic card. Um, I don't know if Crash Room might be playable. I might just grab the 2 2 bear in red. It's not great, but it does. It, it does turn sideways to deal 2 damage. Um. Or crash through? I don't know, grab the, grab the 2 2. Yay, this card's great. So is this card, but I like this card better. Uh, sure. I'm really happy with a 5 mana 4-4 four, four Vigilance for each creature. It's really easy to cast too, only one hard green. It's, uh, I don't know, I think the card's great every time I play it. Um, yeah, these cards are all bad. 2-2. Two, two. Right, we have 9 creatures <laughs> towards the end of pack 1. Nine creatures and two ambuscades. <laughs> Seems like we're dead set on our strategy here. Uh, they're all playable too. Uh, this card's okay. If I get forced to play Feral Prowler, it's fine by me. It's a 1-3 that replaces itself. It's like pretty good in the early game, pretty pretty good in the late game. Uh, this card's nuts. There's been a surprise hero for me in a bunch of drafts. Seems to be good. What? There's no one in bad red cards? Because I've got lots of them. <laughs> oh man, no one's in red. Sweet. Alright. Well then, uh, all 15 <laughs> cards in our first two pack, in our first pack, were on color. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, means if we open the bomb, it's Samet. Oh wait, never mind. That's a card. Uh, this card's great. It's our pick. Um, it's a mythic. It's probably not as good as all the creatures we have, um, and it gains all of their abilities as well. Um, it is a very easy pick to make here. Oh look, a mythic in our colors we're not going to take. 
Just looking forward to two X creatures with two different I have a mana cost X. Reveal them, put them in your hand. So, I mean, like, we can cast it for three and get a bunch of three drops, I guess. It doesn't seem very good. Is it good? I don't think it's good. Two mana, four mana gets us fine. Tutors us two, two drops. It's not bad. It's better on three. It's really good on five for us, but it's never going to happen. Maybe it's okay. I'd rather have this as a three drop. Card's bad. Uh, Ronus' stalwart's not bad. Or we go with the mythic, uncage the menagerie. Draw a bunch of cards. I don't think it's very good. Uh, shit, this guy. Um, these cards all suck for us. I don't want anything. I might just take the crash through and just build a crash through deck. Or just take the desert in case we need it. Yeah, I don't want any of these cards. Let's just do that. There's a few green cards we could really use here. There's a few red cards too. We're in a good spot for M1 Cat to really help us as well. New goal, take nothing off color this whole draft. Ambuscade? I like sure. Alright. Our removal spells are all ambuscades. But I'm sort of genuinely okay with that. I want uh, Rise and Fall to be my rare from Amonkhet. Another pack. Actually, this pack's pretty good for us. Um, this card's good. This card's very good. We have enough of those already. Our f we don't have four drops yet. So that's the pick. Oh, right. This card is like not good. The second half is terrible, but it's good enough that I want it. I don't know what this second half is supposed to do, but it's not good. Well, I mean, it gets rid of eternalized cards every once in a while, I guess. And I guess if you manage to kill their god on your turn, you can you can kill it. Sure. Uh, we'll take the hippo. Just straight up on color RG beats. That's what this is. Set up for Glorybringer. Uh, that card's bad. This card's fantastic. Oh, it's worth so much money in like a while. Spec on this card hard. It's great. Uh, I guess get the five drop. I don't know, man. I think we're just playing lands and attacking at this point. Uh, I kind of want Chandra's defeat on the off chance that it's amazing, but this card is just better than our other two drops. 
It's a strict upgrade in that slot. Yeah. I don't know, sure. Uh, we'll take the rare, I guess. It's our first non-on-color card we've picked. All right, now we wait for the next awesome red-green pick, whatever this is, push card, because no one is in our colors. Look at this. This is insane. Oh, it's gonna, oh fine. Let's see red-green cards we can get. This is a testament to the archetype, because, like, we have them all. That's a card that should be pushed. Oh, we did get a red rare, but it's the red rare I want. Scarlet Mage is a piece of garbage, but I'll take a Magma Spray all day. Glory Bringer. No? No? Someone, looking at, someone right now is staring at the Glory Bringer and being like, man, I can't pass this to my friend Nick here. He's just far too good with Glory Bringers. Card's so hard to use. You gotta play it and turn it sideways. Then you like 99% of the time win the game. You have to remember your exert trigger. It's good to remember. Look at him. This this soaring guy up here. He's thinking about it. It's, yeah. Here it comes. The past glory bringer. Oh, he took his rare. Of course he did. He's a bad player. Um, I don't know. This pack sucks. Take uh, Lux River Shrine. No, uh, take Stinging Shot. It's an okay sideboard card. I don't think it's really main deckable. Only because we have these guys here. Reach. Plus, you know, our weird Griffith thing has Reach with our play. No, oh, excuse me. Um. I don't know. Four mana four threes. They're good, right? Fills in our curve. Let's build a 60 card deck. We maybe could. That's the best part. What? Uh, I can't pass this. But I have no idea why it's still in the pack. Unless that was like mythic foil mythic. What? Oh my god. Alright. I, I don't even know what's happening. These are great. Let's, I'm, I'm dead serious. Let's build a 60 card deck. I want to take this out of here and play standard. Teach you to Marvel vehicle. Marty vehicle. Uh, is it too late to splash black? Are you... What is this? Why is this still in the pack? Like, I can't take it, but I want to. We should I start cutting cards soon. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Uh, Crash Shoes, gimmicky. Uh, we don't need this many days, guys. Um, Kenna's great. Thormolok's only okay. Uh, all the Ambuscade, all the time. Devastator's fine. Yeah, I think they stay. Uh, they stay. I think we probably cut a Gilded Ceradon. Uh, sure. Cut a Hippo for sure. 11 spots. We only have one uh, thingy. Thingy. 
do we want another one of these? Just minotaur them to death? Sure. Wow, this 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 pool is great. I want this all the time. Let's cut that cutting mat. I I don't know what to cut, man. This isn't really on what we're trying to do. Neither is this. Um, I don't know. Time to reflect in case zombies ever catches on in like standard. <laughs> Not in standard in modern. Hyena pack because we're gonna cut it. Uh, I I don't know. Shit's ridiculous. I use my quarry haulers to speed up my edifice. <laughs> what do I do with this freaking pool, man? Shed weakness is great. But I don't need it. I'll grab Blazing Volley for sideboard. I want to cut three drop. There we go. Deck made. Just gonna shove 16 lands in here. Hope for the best. Yeah, looks good to me. Sure. So that was like the easiest deck construction ever. This deck's probably only okay. Um, but uh, I think it's good enough to get by. I don't know. Whatever. I had like. I cut, look at this, I cut 11 red cards and 3 freaking green cards. <laughs> that draft was nuts. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to run this back and we'll see how we do. I'm, I think pretty good. I mean, we're having to deal with flyers, earth if we get stuck. Um, a, just a brick of minotaurs, a brick of ambuscades, like an edifice late in the pick. This, this, this pool is just great. It does everything fine. Um, the only downside is if we run into like a really busted deck with like gods, we're gonna struggle a little bit. But like, it's doubtful. All right, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Alice Collectibles. We still got some hours of devastation cards up for sale um, on eBay and on the store online. AtlasCollectibles.com, Atlas Collectibles on eBay, or do a quick Google search for Atlas Collectibles, and we're like all the hits. Uh, and feel free to knock, uh, shoot us a message on Facebook, talk to us there, or just respond to these videos. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.